in a giant killing act and the little JRE was purring along very nicely. Thank you very much for asking. But up front, Cronier was still dictating matters and steaming on the way home. He had a three-minute lead as Scrobler had crashed out with just 45 k's left to go. And that left Foss and Pitchford in the hunter's seat, having to chase for all they were worth. And they did one heck of a job of it. That also elevated the Ford Dio, Woolridge and Shorthammer to third. And with the locals hollering encouragement, the pair set about trying to close the gap to Foss. The De Brains were also chasing hard. They were past Fissa and Bard Norston up into the top five. A good hard push after DSP. With the Century Properties Nissan of Corbett and Balzar being chased as hard as possible by the Red Rapser bat of Alberts and Hunter who were sprinting for home. The Harpers were next and astounded everyone by sticking to the plan and working the car as well as they could. They were just three odd minutes behind after being quite a long way back at one stage. Brandon Harkis with co Jean Moore was also going well and this twosome and the Ford Ranger have really started getting on well together. They were rocketing up the order after starting 15th overall. While Matthews and Smith and the Century Properties bat were third in the specials holding patient station. For Tollefson and Evans, there was a wrong slot, and then a quick correction. Gibson and Gary Campbell in the absolute bat had had a storming run on the home journey and after being 24th overall and 13th in class were fourth a fine drive. With Saul Walt and Muller falling back a little trying to preserve their chances of finishing. Gary Gillingham and Peter von Fieren themselves had moved up six places in the specials and were heading for one of their best finishers of the 07 season. While Terence Marsh and his co-driver Peter Krunewald in the Regent Bat Spec 2 were as always very consistent and up into 7th place. <laughs> Fisser and Bart Norst had broken a hose on the back break and battled to fix it. Therefore they'd lost a fistful of places but were back on the road at last. And as the Matins, Henry and Maurice were consolidating their fine return to form with a place in the top 10 in the Roby Nissan while Variawa and Rousseau had got stuck in a ditch and then suffered a flat to drop them back. <laughs> With teammate Schroeder having to call it a day after losing four-wheel drive, Jack Peckham, racing solo from DSP in the diesel Ford Ranger 4-litre, had made a big surge and was up into the top 15. He was on a charge of note. The brothers White, David and Gary also entered for the long haul in the African heritage with Smooth and nursing the Rokon bat up into the top ten. And Taylor and Keith were still steaming along up from 18th in the specials to 11th. But Whitehouse and Langton were in their dust and chasing and would eventually steal by them to round out the top ten specials. Fantonda and Guapa were 13th after the time trial but were up into 11th and going in car it was clear why they were smooth. And in Class D, the Weichelts, Cliff and Louis, were second, chasing after the Zermattens and just four minutes in arrears. With Hutchison and Bergman gamey chasing after them after soldiering on despite their electrical problems, the small man is one tough guy. 
Yanni Fisser and Jokes Leroux were happy with their Toyota Space and were second in Class E, a very reliable drive. The Raisonics duo of Kutsil Abiskachny and Jan Gerber were next into the camera's viewfinder in 14th place in the production cars and third in Class D. With Dalmas man Ramon Besaidnot and Stefan Locke in their Toyota, desperately trying to close the gap to a podium place. In Class B, the Besaidnotes were eight minutes behind in second in their Adenko bat. While Rundle and Roberts, second in Class E, had their fair share of electrical troubles and were nursing at home, although it didn't look like it. Thompson and Blakey in their Zarko Light were going nicely too and had made up a lot of places from their start in 47th overall. Ruakon CEO Peter Ruthven and Deval Bossov were 14th in the specials, up from 20th and also enjoyed a fine second half of the race. While Mark and Stuart Moffat brought their Toyota Hilux home in 4th place in Class E. It would have left over singing about a blue moon, but Fabio Tafani and Alan Deerling were also just singing about country roads, taking them home in fifth place in class.